What's going on guys? Hope you slept well. Today's gonna be a little bit different. Um, I was asked to explain the positive crankcase ventilation system or otherwise known as the PCV system on your vehicle. Specifically, there were some Panther platform guys that asked me to elaborate a little bit more and I said, why not? I have the car for it. I have the catch can hooked up that you wanted to see how it all routes and I would be more than willing to explain things exactly how it works. So the whole purpose of a PCV system on an engine is to be able to evacuate any kind of contaminants down there that may have ex uh, escaped past the combustion chamber. So as the piston's going up and down and it comes up to compress and then there's a boom, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. And so how, how it works is an engine sucks air in, it compresses the air, fuel squirted in, ignition happens, it blows it down, and then comes back up and pushes the exhaust out. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. And that's how it works. Sometimes that by, the byproduct of that combustion process is some of it leaks past the piston rings and gets down in the lower portion of the engine in the crankcase area. Your vehicle has to have a way for it to escape that system. Back in the day, they used to have something called a road draft tube. And it would basically just hang off the side of the engine and it would be cut on an angle or maybe even flat just all depends but normally they were cut on an angle and as you would travel down the road air would go across the bottom of it and it would literally just suck the crankcase va vapors and stuff right out onto the road and you would have like when it would rain and stuff like that you'd see like the rainbowy silvery shiny sheen in the in the water and stuff because there's actually oil on the road it was being sucked through the road draft tube and then eventually it expanded into a PCV system with a PCV valve, a little shuttle valve that moves back and forth. Your PCV, you'll hear it chatter sometimes. Um, where it's located on this particular car is on the passenger side, valve cover. And this is a heated system. Some of them are heated. So there's a power and ground wire here. And this is a heated PCV system. And if you notice, I have something different on mine. Mine doesn't have the, just the old school tube that used to go from here and then up to the intake manifold up there. What I've done is I've incorporated something called a catch can. And what a catch can does is it helps remove the oil vapors from getting sucked back into the intake manifold. So any of the gas vapors that are down there that get sucked back in can actually be used as fuel instead of wasting it. And the oil can actually be caught in, the, in a diaphragm that's on the bottom of this. See how there's just just a very 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 little bit of oil inside there that's because this oil was just changed and you see there's a plate platform like a little screen and stuff up in there that's so as those vapors are pulled out of their suction on this line here that goes back to the intake up there and this is a Dorman Universal system, and what I did was I took the fittings, I used a heat gun, and I actually pulled the fittings out of the old plastic line, and I heated the new rubber line up, and stuck the factory fittings back in so I can have the factory quick connects, just like they belong, run right into the catch can. And as those oil vapors and gas vapors and stuff come out of here and go into the system, the oil attaches to the platform right here, some people put uh, like stainless steel wool down in the bottom of the catch can so they give it, they give the oil even more of a surface to grab onto. That will help pull even more oil vapors out of the system. Um, I just leave it factory the way it is because it does a sufficient job. And the oil, for the most part, not entirely, but for the most part, it does get pulled out of this, this tube into this can, into the intake manifold. Um, most of it does get trapped in there, but not all of it. It's not 100% guaranteed. So with that being said, how does it get pulled through that system right there? 
is it just suction right there? Because if you have suction on the intake manifold, it's pulling on this, it's pulling on this, and it's a completely sealed engine, you have to have something open on the other side to allow flow to happen. And you are correct. That is this over here. That's your dirty side, where your PCV valve is at. When you pull those valve covers off, if you look at the side that the PCV valve is on on engines, it's the dirtier side. And the side that has the clean air tube, which is this one here, this tube goes down to your valve cover. Let's see if I can see the connection down in here. Right there. So this tube comes up, goes here. And this is your fresh air box. So this allows flow to happen through the crankcase of the engine. So that will allow fresh air. So the intake manifold has the connection going to it up here, the one I showed you guys before. Let's go back to it and say it one more time. Right here. This connection here. And that's pulling suction on that tube that then goes over to the PCV. That then goes, that system is part of like the valve cover area all the way down into the crankcase. And then the fresh air line comes over here. So as that's sucking, pulling on that, it's allowing fresh air to be pulled in through the tube and through the crankcase area to help move everything along pretty efficiently. So that way you're not, you're not pulling a vacuum on a system that doesn't need a vacuum pulled on it any more than what it already is. So it's, it's a pretty sufficient system overall. Now some of you may ask, can you delete a PCV? Well, you can. Um, some systems are a little bit more sensitive than other systems. Some systems probably will flag something that they have sensors monitoring everything now. You just got to be very careful. Um, on a system like this, what if I was to leave the PCV hooked up right there and vent it to atmosphere would anything happen no probably not it's an older system it's not as sophisticated as some of the newer ones but it's it's not a performance car either so I don't see the purpose in trying to circumvent the wheel here uh, this is just basically a demonstration on how to what the catch can does for one is it cre it creates a cleaner atmosphere with air getting sucked into or st stuff getting recycled back into the intake manifold. It keeps a lot of that oil and stuff out of it so you have a more sufficient, cleaner burn. No catch cans on direct injection engines. If you look at the valves, they, they get quite a bit of buildup. Uh, when you run a catch can from new, it saves a lot of that buildup from happening. If you don't have a PCV, uh, if a PCV, let's just say a PCV is plugged up and you can't pull the valve out and rattle it. Um, some PCVs, you can just pop them out. They're in a rubber grommet. Some of them have locking tabs. Some of them are really hard to get out, and they're not meant to be taken out without breaking them. That forces you to install a new one. Just all depends on the system that you're working on. The purpose of it is to keep as much of that garbage in the crankcase from accum accumulating down there and helping break down the oil even more. It is a way for you to get any of the combustion gases and contaminants in that crankcase system out of there so the atmosphere of that oil being in the in the, in the sump uh, is a lot cleaner with the PCV than without it that's the just of the PCV system in a nutshell let me know if you need anything more I don't want to continue anymore because I would just be beating a dead horse that's the PCV system